In this video, we're going to take you through the live traffic feature of WordFence Security. Here on my screen now, you can see I've already got this feature open and we've already got a little bit of data in here to go on, though what I see will be different to what you see, especially as this site is just one that I'm running locally, so there won't ever be a great deal of detail here because it's not a public facing website. The first section you can see here is all hits, and this is just a total list of anything that you would see in these tabs that you can see across the top here and it has a decent amount of information available to you. So it will give you a location. In my case, it's unknown. And that's because 127.0.0.1 is a private network IP. So there's no actual waiver to check where that's coming from. But it gives you the IP where it came from, what that IP address tried to access, the host name, browser, and so on. From here, you can block the IP, block the network, uh, run a who is, and so on. If you do choose to use any of these features, I strongly recommend uh, making sure you know what you're blocking first so you don't accidentally block either yourself or legitimate visitors to your website. It's also pretty handy because using this plugin, you can actually keep track of who's logging in and when they're logging in. So if you go to logins and logouts, you can see who's been accessing the WordPress dashboard. And you can see here that I've logged in, that was uh, 19 hours ago. You can see what IP address I've logged in from and the host name and so on. But that's really about all there is to this feature. Uh, it's just a really great way to keep track of traffic coming to your website, where it's coming from, who it's coming from. Uh, you can keep track of, you know, are there any bots trying to access your website? Are they trying to uh, spam your website? Are you, is your website getting taken down by uh, overloading your server from certain networks and so on? And all of this information is the kind of info that is super handy when you really want to lock down your website. That's where we'll wind this video up. If you have any questions about what we've covered here today, please feel free to ask in the comments below.